Welcome to Homeschool 101. It's so, um, <laughs> right now I wanted to talk about and discuss um, discipline. How, you know, I hear a lot of times moms, parents talking about how in the world do you get your children to do their schoolwork? How do you get them to stop fighting with each other during the day? How do you get them to to, to do what you ask them to do all day long because you know it gets tiring and and then there's like you know yelling and how do you 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 get your kids to do anything <laughs> you know but now as a homeschool parent you're around your kids all day long for the most part you know depending on on your family structure and you know so if your kids aren't going to public school, you know, public school kid, you're only dealing with your kid maybe, you know, two, three, four hours at night, you know, but it's nighttime. So it's, you know, you know, doing homework, eating dinner, going to an activity, you know, cleaning up and going to bed. So you're not really doing a whole lot of like, okay, I need you to do this, <laughs> you know? It's like a whole bunch of, like, activities and tasks that they know has to get done, so they, they kind of rush and do it. You know, but if you're home with them all day long, and, you know, we do have, you know, some a nice relaxing downtime that the kids could do, but how do you get them not, how do you get them to not be in that routine of, well, okay, it's, it's like playtime now, and it's relaxed time now, well, now I just want to keep relaxing and I just want to keep, and now I don't want to do my work. And how do you get them to do your work, their work? How do you get your kids disciplined? <laughs> so, well, I was talking to my husband about this and I loved his answer. He was talking about discipline. A lot of people, when they hear the word discipline, they think, oh, well, getting your kid to do what they're supposed to be doing uh, or like stopping a bad behavior and you know so if they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing and get them to stop and do what they're doing it's like no he was saying the discipline is I'm sorry if I'm talking funny my face is starting to get frozen out here all right anyway he was saying his idea of discipline is <laughs> I think my brain is getting frozen <laughs> is um his idea of discipline is doing something all the time consistency consistency is discipline so like say for example you wake up every morning you make your bed you do it once you're not disciplined so getting your child to do it one time that's not discipline but discipline is being able to do it all the time consistently you know you wake up you make your bed you know that's discipline. So how do we get our kids into a routine of being disciplined children? Um, well, I feel that it's, it's, I feel again, that's another thing that's a journey and it doesn't start at homeschooling. It starts in the, in the home. It starts in the home when just, you know, it's like you, your spouse, um, or if it's just you, you know, if you're a single parent, you know, then you being the best version that you can possibly be to show them consistent positive behaviors and routines in a household and then the kids then follow suit you know so if you're you know if you're waking up at noon every day and you're tired and you're dragging your feet until you have your cup of coffee and you don't you know you drive your kids to school in your pajamas but yet you're yelling at them to put their you know school clothes on because they have to leave the house and it's like it's sending mixed messages you know so you can't expect your children to have consistent persistent positive behavior if, if you're you yourself are not displaying that as well um, so you know again pick pick one area pick one area of your life that um, that you because you know can find that you can have improvement on that you want to be more disciplined in and you know even even if you say something to your children you know if they're old enough that you could just, you know they're not little infants that you could talk tell them like oh, okay look what mommy's doing and then you can get support from your family too and then the more that you're doing this thing your kids are going to see that you're doing this disciplined action and they're going to be then motivated 
to follow suit in some area that they want to be disciplined in. You know, so a lot of it is not, a lot of it is not focusing on everybody else, not focusing on the kids. It's not, well, you know, my kids are misbehaving and they're not, you know, doing what I asked them to do and they're not, they're not, they're not, and, you know, they, 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 they. Well, you know, take, look, go look inside the mirror and, and say to yourself what, what you're not doing, <laughs> you know, well, you know, what aren't you doing? If you had a parent that was looking at you, or look at all the things that you're asking your parent, well, your parents, look at all the things that you're asking your children to do and do you do them, you know? You're yelling at your kids, clean your room, clean up your mess. Is your room messy? <laughs> is your closets messy? You open up your drawers, are your clothes folded up nice and neat and put away organized? You know, when you wake up in the morning, before you come out of your room, you should make sure your bed's made. Do you make your bed in the morning before you <laughs> leave? You know, hurry up, we gotta go, get your clothes on. But are you going, dropping them off at school in your pajamas and flip-flops with your hair a mess and you didn't even brush your teeth? You know, and you're dodging people because you're like, oh man, I don't want to see anybody because, you know, I didn't brush my teeth this morning. You know, so what, what kind you, what type of mixed messages are you sending to your children in your own house? So, and again, and to, to I'm going to share with you guys to so that way you can see that, you know, I'm not just speaking from some lofty position like, yeah, you know, this is what you parents should be doing and blah, 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 blah. You know, <laughs> it's like, no, I, I do this with myself on a consistent basis. You know, when I first started homeschooling, I was a hot mess. I mean, even before I started homeschooling, when my son was in public school and he would come home and have homework, I would, I was like, I turned into like the jupacabra. I mean, I was like, you know, head spinning and, you know, fire coming out of my ears and, you know, horns growing out of my head. And, you know, <laughs> I'm like, why don't you understand how to do this? Did you just told you, showed you, <laughs> you know, do your work. But yeah, no, I had like no patience, <laughs> none, zero, zip. <laughs> I was the, uh, the poster child for lack of patience. <laughs> yes, that was me. <laughs> I'm sure the people who know me now are probably like, you, but you're like, you have like so much patience with your kids. It's like, yeah, that's now. <laughs> that's like decades later <laughs> and a lot of work <laughs> on myself to be in this position that I am right now you know so and you know again I still have I still have my areas that every day that I work on and improve on and you know I am not the most organized person yeah and I homeschool I am not the most I am I am the person who does better with the unschooling I'm like hey man it's a beautiful day let's do school on the beach when we're living in Florida you know let's you know and then we're at the beach and like we were, Daisy leave it and, um, you know, I, we would take our school books and our stuff to the beach. Then we get to the beach and we, you know, see like the sea, for example, we see like the sea turtle posts because they would mark like the sea turtle nest. And then I was like, huh, I came up with like a, 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 a science project for my daughter to do. I'm like, let's go and track all the sea turtle nests and see and do our own experiment on the number of sea turtles and the types of sea turtles that we hear and let's learn about all that and how many what kind of sea turtles come to our beach here in Florida so we spent we spent like a couple several hours on the beach doing this awesome turtle sea turtle science experiment so that's me I'm like I'm just like off the fly you know I organization if not I really don't want to I'm like I buck the system when it comes to organization <laughs> that is not me I like ugh, I hate it but but even though I hate it, I know that I need it, and I know certain things I need, to, you know, to have some kind of structure and guidance to, you know, just at least give me a little bit of a basic guide so I just, you know, don't go flying off the deep end when it comes to, like, schooling my kids, you know, or, you know, come to providing experiences for my kids. So, um, you know, so you have to, you have to know yourself, know yourself and know your strengths, know your weaknesses, and work on you don't worry about your kids you know don't worry about focus on you why why do you get why do you get so upset when your kids don't do what you ask them to do why is it something from your past is it something from your childhood like why why do you get crazy if your kids don't do things right or you know if they 
why aren't you doing the stuff? Why, what, what's going on? What's going on inside you that, that, oh my God, I'm freezing. <laughs> like what's going on inside you that is making, you know, you feel like you got to scream at them because they're not, uh, you know, being consistent with their behavior and like, you know, you didn't brush your teeth this morning. You know you're supposed to brush your teeth every time you wake up. Why aren't you disciplined enough to brush your teeth? Because the children and they need to be taught. <laughs> and I'm laughing because I go through that myself. I'm like, okay, how old are you now? <laughs> I'm like, all right, you had this many years to know that this happens every single day. So why aren't you doing it every single day? <laughs> you know, it's like raw. <laughs> Jupacabra's coming out. No, calm down, breathe. <sighs> you know? But, so yeah, I get it. I get it. You know, but then why does that happen for me? It happens for me because I'm inconsistent. You know, I will not be disciplined. With, I will not be disciplined all the time. I will falter and I will have moments or months of undisciplined behavior. And then, and then I notice and I notice, and they see, and I'm saying this because I observe this with my kids, that I notice that the more that I am undisciplined, then the more negative behaviors I start seeing through with them, I start seeing them slipping and start seeing them being undisciplined and unfocused and unstructured. And so that's why I'm making this video because I had my own experiment with that in my own family and I saw what it did with them you know so don't worry about your kids you know how do I you know stop going on Facebook and you know asking how do I get my kids to do their work how do I <laughs> how do I get them to do this and do that you do that and do, do this and do that you do it you be disciplined but it's so much easier for us here the, wait a second oh, oh there's a little chicken head poking out of the out of this, one of the chickens went up on the deck. And she was sticking her head out. It's puffy. That's our Easter egg. -er. <laughs> but um, this is for you. So you parents out there, <clears throat> take the lens. Daisy, leave it. Daisy, leave it. See, I even have to teach my dog not to eat the ducks and chickens because she's a dog. She's a basset hound and Jack Russell Terrier, and she would just love to just have a chicken duck meal. <laughs> so everybody, including dogs, can learn new behavior, but it's through consistency that you develop discipline. And then one day, it'll become a habit. So, and, and then that's it. So the same thing, same thing with our children, same thing with ourselves. You know, stop looking at your children and what they're do not doing. When you're when you start to say what your children are not doing, that's the time that you should be looking at yourself and saying, "What am I not doing? What do I need to focus on? What do I need to enhance and improve? What do I need to be consistent in, so that way my children have a good role model to see what consistency is and to see and learn and know what discipline is, because that's you know it's not just to, to do this in homeschool, but this is life, folks. You know, no matter what your children decide to do, even if they decide to stay home one day and make, you know, YouTube videos, you need to be disciplined to do that. Because if I, you know, if I'm not disciplined, then I'm not going to be making videos. You know, so whatever they do, if they become a doctor, they have to be disciplined. They have to have consistent behavior, positive behavior, so they can be successful in life, successful in their relationships, in their careers in their communities, but it all starts with you, the parent. So what is it that you guys need discipline in? I shared with you some of my little areas that I worked on and continue to work on. So what are some of the areas that you need to work on in your consistency so that way you can be disciplined? All right, all the animals and everybody here, Say God bless. Peace out. Happy homeschooling. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not part of our group, please subscribe.
And as always, share, share, share away. Share the love, share the knowledge, share the journey so other people who are in the same boat can learn and grow as well. All right, everybody. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye. Thank you.